Not that long ago when we were all children, going to the hospital, let alone the doctor's office, was downright frightening. Still true today, and that can sometimes make the job for the doctors difficult, especially when they're trying to heal the little ones, our children now. At Labonte Children's Hospital, they're trying to make things less scary by bringing in a furry sidekick. Fox 13 Sarah Blue was at the hospital's Teddy Bear Clinic, and she has this story. Kids don't always understand what these treatments are, why they have to have an IV in all day, or why they have to sit for an hour in a big, loud MRI machine. It makes it all the more scary for them. So what better way for kids to understand what all of this is than to go through it with their favorite furry friend? Four-year-old Sarah Antonacci was supposed to go home from the Bonner Children's Hospital this day, but she got sick again in the morning. She had surgery on her ureters to fix kidney reflux. She's been asleep all morning, and she's not been happy. Do you have a bandage on your tummy? She wasn't feeling very chatty until she went to the Bonner's Teddy Bear Clinic. She got a boo-boo on his foot. What happened to your wolf here? He was riding his bike. Oh, no, and what happened? Yes, fell. The children made sure that each stuffed animal given out at the teddy bear clinic had a story of how they were hurt. It says you can put a cast on them, or you can give them shots and medicine. I don't listen to the heart. And just like the patients themselves, the teddy bears went through some of the same procedures they're going through, too. Our bear Henry has an IV in his hand, just like you do. We have the uh, mock MRI that can see how that works. Uh, you know, they can see how to draw the medicine. Two mils. Right there. How to put a splint on or have a cast on or something like any anything that they might encounter here at the hospital. She understands it more through almost like a play therapy. So she's understanding what they're doing with her more. Because she's weighed and they've done her vital signs and they've listened to her heart. You want to see what it's like to put a meat with you? The big loud machines, all the poking with the needles. It's all scary for a child because they don't always understand what it is and what it's doing for them. It can make the healing process a little harder. We always want to do things to take away the fear factor, both from the unknown and anything that they see around here, because our ultimate goal is to help them to get better and feel better in, in a safe and, and non-scary environment. Look at that technique. By helping to heal their injured furry friends, the kids are getting that understanding of the medical process. They also know now what it all means for their teddy bears and for themselves in the end. This, like, just get them well. Just make you get well and better. Yep. Parents say they love seeing Labonner do things like this, the teddy bear clinic, not only because it puts a smile on their kid's face and helps them understand everything. They say it shows the hospital takes pride in the children. You can see this and all of our past Children's Miracle Network hospital stories from Labonner right on our website, myfoxmemphis.com. Just click on news and then the CMN tab. Reporting in the studio, Sarah Blue, Fox 13 News. Sarah also telling us that Labonner Children's Hospital's FedEx Family House, where families of the patients from out of town stay during treatment, uh, needs your help. They need these items. Here's a list we're going to show you right there on the television screen. Go to the store, buy as much as you can afford, and give from the heart, of course. Individual bags of chips, Little Debbie snack cakes, bottled water, juice boxes, individual pudding and applesauce cups. Individual package, toothbrushes, and toothpaste. You can contact uh, Brittany Adams at the house to schedule a drop-off. Call in advance, though. The number you see there on your screen, 901-347-6462. Okay.